Hello and welcome to POE for Dummies, another episode where I show you the best, 10 of them, best tools that I use for Path of Exile, which are also beginner tools. Now, I have the list written because I'm, uh, I'm writing it down, Andy, but I have compiled them all into, into a little browser and I will go through the list as I will post all the links down in the description below and also show you some examples in this video so as this is a beginner series i will just touch on a beginner basis i won't go into too big of details other than for for some others that i've done before like i've done um, a video on poe lab on path of building on awaken poe trade and so on in this video i will however cover what i think are the best tools for beginners and also that I use them and how I use them even on a little bit higher level. So to start with, we have Filter Blade. Filter Blade is Never Sinks Filter. He is the man, I will link him, link his Twitter and his Twitch, I think he streams on Twitch, I will link it in the description below to show support to him if you are willing now he made the filter list so what do we have here we have all the item filters that you see on various streams or that your friends maybe have or if you don't have anyone who plays but you just want to open the game you will see some of these items drop with different color different size text and so on all of that is thanks to the filter blade the game itself has a filter that you can apply in the options game section, which is none or default, which is default item filter, or you can actually attach filters into your game file, which is located in your documents folder on your C drive. So C drive, users, username, my documents, my games, Path of Exile, and in that root folder, you would paste the item filter that you will obtain here. So how do you use Filter Blade? You log in with Path of Exile account, it will tell you to, to authorize, and then you go to Overview. In Overview, you can select the strictness. The higher the strictness, the less items you will see on the ground, and it will show you what items it deletes from your own point of view. So if you go soft, you will see everything basically yet if we go very strict you won't see some here some there and so on and so forth now you can always customize it you can change the colors of it so you can go like uh, with let's say different color there's wow it will change it of course alloy and so on Depending on what you would like you can play with the looks of the filter with the style but for a beginner um, beginner guide and, and so on, I would just go here. So soft, start with soft at the like launch, expansion launch and whatnot. And when you feel like you are looting too much, then you swap to regular filter. When you feel like you're looting too much, swap to semi-strict, to strict, to very strict. I wouldn't go above very strict for a beginner player, but then I would learn how to customize it. You can also go uber strict, but that is going to hide a lot of things which you won't um, you won't have regular access to. So you then need to learn how the economy works, what you can buy with chaos orbs, the divine orbs, and so on. So my advice would be to get to very strict and then start to customize it. How do we customize it? You go to customize options and then you click one and you go in order. Or you can go to simulate screen, you can click generate loot, and it will generate the loot, and then, oh, I want to see these Chagrin boots. So I will right click for more options, we can jump to rule. Okay, no matching, no matching there. So let's see, jump to rule, no, none, interesting. Oh, it's it's here, so it's it is already on a click. Okay, so that, that was changed. So it's already on a click. So you left-click it, pardon, you left-click it, and it will show you where is it. Show, and so on, then it will it will show those white items, and so on. If you want to generate valuable loot, you can get, you can get it like this. And then if you want to change the colors of it, you left-click it, it will also do the audio. Or if you want to right-click, jump to rule, it will go directly to that rule. 
how do you save it you go to save and export and then you can either put it public and do it for your uh, filter on the poe website you can sync or download it so if you if you sync it if you sync it you can you can choose save and sync and it will appear in your game as a blue text like this one for me is heavy breach legion farm and so on or if you want to manually save it you will get the file which you then copy in the my documents folder my games path of exile but it's a very useful tool that i recommend for everyone i also have my own version here you can check it on my poe profile which i will link as well or you can check it on my discord and you can download it that's the one that i used for 323 affliction league on to the next one poe lab i have covered this one in a separate video they have changed and chance into gem transfiguration in 3.23 league in affliction league but other than that i have covered this section fully for the creator local identity and the crew i will also post the link down below you can check what labs you are going to do and the layouts and so on what i recommend is checking merc and uber lab because normal and crew lab just hold the right wall and you will reach izaro in no time that's for your ascendancies next very good and useful tool which i've already covered in a few videos as well is path of building now path of building is used to build your character to read other characters from other other path of buildings if you want to pick up a build guide from somewhere else and so on like for myself i have this map destroyer one or i have the build guide um, zero to hero which has a uh, low budget and like high budget well medium to high budget for most people 50 to 60 divines is sort of high for most people now you can use that tool as well that has already been covered in a few videos i will chuck those links as well in the description below it's a very useful tool that you can do and you can explore a lot of different possibilities i have included however how to find your timeless jewel in it next one is awakened poe trade that one i have already covered as well and that is used for either putting cheat sheets and for like these questing things pictures where you find stuff or you can check how much an item is how much it costs you can check the prices and so on it's a very useful tool that will also tell you in the top left corner how much one divine is worth and so on that you know what to do over time and how you can actually trade different currencies and items in path of exile it's a very useful tool i use it almost all the time when i'm playing the game just to price check some things here and there because you can randomly drop a good piece of loot and oh i don't know what this does and then mix and match and you can find it on the trade for some money now to take a break from all of that you want your hideout to look cool right you go to hideout showcase now these ones have some not safe for work ones some safe for work ones but most of the hideouts you can find here or you can create your own how do we do hideout showcase we can either click a random hideout and it will <laughs> give you a random website keep in mind their website sometimes loads slow so take it as a as a grain of salt for loading times but it will give you some random hideouts now how do you search for a hideout you mouse over hideouts button you click mtx free hideouts or you click search hideouts when you click search hideouts you can choose select mtx yes no let's say no time frame any doesn't matter hideout type this will give you the name of the hideout you want to look as an example i want to find like uh, all at sea hideout and let's say click search it will then search for all that you have and let's say you want to pick up um, wreckage the pitch black sea and then you have you have basically basically this how do you how do you load these into your own uh, poe what you do you click on the downloads you download the file then when you are in game there is a drop down and pull up menu where you have uh, edit 
decorations, music, reclaim, export and import. You click import and then it pop prompts you to your downloads folder or wherever it is that you can select the hideout file. You click hideout file, you click open. If you are in that hideout, it will prompt a mess. Well, it will put a message and you everything will change. If you're not in that hideout, it will give you this. You must first set your hideout to Alpine hideout in order to import this hideout template. How do you change your hideout? You talk to there. Helena, which I have no clue where she is. Oh, there she is. Hello. Helena, and you click select hideout and you can choose your hideout. Keep in mind, you can buy hideouts on the store. You can get them, at least you could. Ritualist hideout is from the rewards for a challenge league and so on. So you can buy them, you can unlock them via campaign. Some are uh, found rarely in some maps like the, the Shaper hideout, Celestial hideout. And there's uh, there's one or two more like uh, Abyss, or well, not Abyss hideout, but one from from some maps. There's Nocturnal from Moon Temple and so on. So some are rare drops from the rare uh, map um, looks, basically. So that can make your hideout look fancy. Now on to other things. Regex. This is the one that can be a little bit complex for a beginner player, but where I use it, I use it to roll my maps. So I go on the left side, so on POE Regex, on the left side I go with map modifiers. Here you want to select what map modifiers you cannot run. That's my, my advice. Do not select what you want to run. Select what you don't want to run or what actually breaks your build, like physical reflect, elemental reflect. You can search for it, reflect. Monsters, Reflect, Elemental, Physical Damage. You can choose which ones. You can choose up to, I don't even know how many I have, 6, 7, 8, but you are limited to 50 character length. Why? When you click Copy here, and it's in green text, you go to your Path of Exile game, you go into wherever your maps are, I have this as Map Regex, and then you click on the keywords. Type keywords here, you click it there, you do Control v which is paste, and it will mark the maps. Now, how does this work? Anything that's shining does not have these modifiers. Anything that's not shining has those modifiers. Now to select it here, let's see. Maps, are they shining? They're all shining for now. Oh, there we go. So... I have this map that is not shining. What does it have? Reflect Elemental, Monster Movement Speed, Life. There's the mod. Smothering. Players have 60% less recovery rate of life and energy shield. I cannot do that on my builds. And I know when the map is not shining, that means I cannot do it. I will reroll it. How do you reroll? Classic. Scour Orb, Alchemy Orb. Don't waste Chaos Orbs. There, there's no need. I use it for maps... I don't use it for anything else, but you can use it for compass, for expedition, heist, flasks, and so on, if you're going into selling. For beginners, I just recommend doing it for map modifiers. This is also for uh, my uh, Cleave of Rage build. That's also linked in the videos for Cleave of Rage. Don't worry, all of these, these are going to be linked. But that covers map regex, where I would use it, so that you want to roll 50 maps, go for it. It's easier this way than to roll every map, and so on. Next one is PoE DB. This is the one where you get, oh, that's an interesting item, that's an interesting item level. Can this item roll something specific to me? You would go to PoE DB, you would go to modifiers, you mouse over, click modifiers, you choose an item that you want, let's say two-handed bow, and then you go modifiers calc, that's usually the first page it opens, and then you can see prefixes, suffixes, influenced prefixes, suffixes, delve prefixes, suffixes, incursion ones, veiled ones for June crafting, veiled chaos orb or Eichling, and crafted ones that you can pop, essences that you can use to craft, and of course, bestiary that adds a bestiary suffix for aspects. All of this you can see. You can see what Valorb gives you as a corrupt corrupted implicit, what synthesis implicits corrupted you can get from bows, what bow synthesis implicits can be, two-hand range crafting bench, 
what items there are, what bases, gems that can fit into bows, that you can use with bows, crucible weapon, this is only for standard, because crucible is not in the league, it's not in core game pool, and there's the community wiki for, for bows, and of course, some unique ones, so that's for bows, you can do that for any item mainly in the game, you can see them up here, basically what items drop from wherever and however, so when it, whatever you click, let's say you click Expedition, it will open Expedition and you can click on everything here. DB stands for database. You have everything here. That's a very, very useful tool if you want to find out where something specific drops. You can always pop a search, search button. Next one, Craft of Exile. Craft of Exile is good for beginners because let's say you started the game, you played like 20-30 hours in maps, you don't have the currency to afford to buy an expensive 10-20 divine item, but you have essences on your atlas tree, and you can farm essences and so on, and you can farm a certain amount, and now you've farmed, let's say, 50 to 100 essences of specific type, as an example here, I have Torment, I have 49 Torment, and then what do you do with those, with those essences? What can we craft with those essences? You would click on an emulator, in Craft of Exile, you will create a new item, and you can choose whatever item you want to create. Let's say, you want to do Helmet. Helmet, which is... Uh, Dexterity. Dexterity, Silken Hood. Uh, item level 71. Item quality, put it to 20 because it, it doesn't matter. You can put it to 0, 20. You can also do influences and whatnot. Let's do non-influenced. Proceed. And then you want to slam it with an essence. Now, essences to craft, you can choose whichever one. Let's say you want to do greed. You want to do tier 1. You click it and you will get greed. And you will get other modifiers. And you can just click it. You can see in what you want to get, how many essences, roughly, this will do. This is a free version of doing in-game crafting. That's a completely free version of doing in-game crafting, so you don't waste your money here. But what if you want to copy an item? So here I have another silken hood. We do alt Control c We go into... Again, into the emulator, I'll click restart. Emulator, we import item. It tells you here what to do. alt Control c not Control alt c it's, it's different. And then you Control v you paste the item, you click Import, and there we go, there's an imported item. If you want to add a Fractured modifier, you right-click, Fracture, Unfracture, and that will add it, keep that in mind. And then you can just continue continue to craft your, your item, like what, whatever whatever you'd like. You can do whatever you'd like to, to your item, you can regal, divine, you can do whatever you want, you can craft it, you can enjoy it, but it's a free version, it's, it has the same odds, same chances, it's the same as you have in-game. So that's a very good way how you can practice and learn how to do crafting in Path of Exile on a beginner level and an even advanced level just to check, oh, is this guy that this guy made, is it good? I have crafted a rune dagger following Poe's guide for righteous fire, and I have also crafted a quiver, which both of those videos I will link in the description below, just so you can see as a reference. Next one, PoE Ninja. PoE Ninja is a very useful tool where you can see prices of items, they're all like put in in a straight line or you can see builds for builds as an example you want to search a build that uses cleave of rage cleave of rage now cleave of rage you have 0.2 percent players use it and you have here you can sort by dps and whatnot and it will show you it will show you the amount of dps that people have for cleave of rage and so on. Then you want to click on a, on a character and you will see, aha, this guy played with this build, take, he took that, this, that, he, he took these modifiers, he took these items, that's his thing. But then what do I do with all the information? There is import code for Path of Building, you copy it, you go to Path of Building, you open up a new POB, new, you click Import Export, you import a build, import, 
and it is here. You can see the whole build, how how is it working, how is it going, and so on. Sometimes it doesn't import fully, but most of the times it does import pretty darn well. But you can use it in that way. If you want to see what to play, you can just go back to search. But let's see, maybe you're interested in something else. Let's say Fireball. There's a few people. And you don't want Mage Blood. Mage Blood. And you will see, click Mage Blood. And then you click the Cancel button. And then these are the people that don't use Mage Blood with Fireball. And that's how it, how it works. It's very simple. It's very useful. This is just to see what you have. All, you already have a build. But how can I improve my build? What are other people doing? That's a very good, useful tool, what I do with it. Or you can just check the economy, what is costing and how much it is costing. And now we have one that people really dislike. I will have to mention it because it's very useful for beginners, even though I might get some flack for it, which is TFT. TFT is the Forbidden Trove. It's a tool that people use to sell items, trade items, get challenges completed, and so on. For beginners, I would strongly advise to, if you have the need to, use their services um, for Affliction SC because that's the current league. You would do challenges, want to buy, want to sell. You would go want to sell challenges. You will find here like message, control F want to get uh, King of the Mists, let's say King, and then they will tell you how much the price is. You whisper the person in game, you copy paste it with um, the monkey, Shift 2. Shift 2, paste the name, hi, I would like to purchase your King of the Mists, and so on, and you will use it there. You can also use it to buy uh, gear, I don't, I don't recommend that. There have been scams. You can buy bulk items, I have been doing this a lot. By the way, where you, you buy different things, where you sell different things, also for compasses, you can maybe find me. Let's see, how long does it does it keep? It it doesn't keep uh, doesn't keep that that long. It it doesn't. Never mind, it, it deleted, it deletes uh, after after a while. But I keep selling selling things. This is want to sell, yes. So you can buy things in bulk, you can sell things in bulk, you can ask people to buy stuff, you can chat with people and so on, but there have been a lot of confirmed scams, mirror tiered item scams and so on. But as a beginner player, you want to utilize a tool that will help you get to end game a little bit faster. What I tend to do with it in the beginning of the league, I tend to get uh, Maven and uh, Uber Elder Watchstones because selling those two on the marketplace is way better than actually doing them myself. You will just get more currency even after, let's say you get two divines and you pay one divine for two boosts, you are still plus one divine. That's basically it, unless you want a specific achievement with, with that, which I don't recommend for beginner players immediately. But I do recommend getting all four watchstones. That's why getting the, getting the TFT flack a bit, it is what it is, but it's my it's basically my, my will and job to describe that, as it is a very useful tool that I use and I will continue using as long as it, for my intents and purposes, serves well. But be careful of scammers. Those can happen also on the trade website for PoE. Now, those were 10. There are a few notable mentions. Notable mentions are div cards, but better. Divcards.io, you can choose a map. You can select a map, let's say, Jungle, Jungle Valley, and then you can get these ones. Or you can search them with... Um, like when you when you left click, pardon, when you when you click on a hyperlink, it will prop, prompt you to PoE Wiki for what item it is and so on, what fold variants there are and so on. Or you can search for the card, let's say Doctor, the Doctor, and it will tell you it will tell you where it drops in which maps it drops. That's for div cards. Timeless Jewel Calculator, this is a supplementary tool to POB's Timeless Jewel. You can select where you want, you can select the node, you can select which uh, variety you want, let's say Lethal Pride, let's say Kilo Ava. You will enter seed, seed whatever, whatever number. Let's say that number, oh no wait, it has to be, it has to be higher, pardon. 
let's say that number and then it will tell you in um, drop down menu what you will get and then you have to mouse over. This one is a little bit more difficult to read than pa uh, path of building. It's easier to use but a little bit more difficult to read. I would still recommend POB's version, which you have in the last video of POB that I explained it, how it functions and how it works, because it, it gives you like direct node, node things, the node um, distance and so on, and it will just explain things a little bit better. And the last but not least, you have Blight Oil Helper. This is a Blight website, well, Blight Oil website where you can select what things you get from what specific Blight Oil. So you can anoint different things, it will show you what you can do, so by using the left click and so on, it will prompt you and yeah. Now you can see input your oils to see which anointments are available, which includes vendor recipe, you can put in whatever whatever you'd like whatever you can make however you can make you can see what towers there are and everything else you can reset and so on it's a very useful tool if you want to do blight i haven't uh, linked this in the blight uh, video that i've made ages ago i will add that as well as mentioning it here but those were my 10 best beginner poe <laughs> tools that I use even. I use them almost all the time. For Blight ones, I do do tend to use them on my... Oh, look, not in this build. I will add them. I tend to use them for most of my builds because I like to do Blight mechanic as is, especially to showcase. For everything else, everything is sorted out in a nice list. I will also post them all in the description below but if you have any questions feel free to post them down in the description below everything will be linked as per usual if you like the video please do give it a like sub if you don't mind thank you so much for watching the video we now have a join button as well for youtube memberships currently in works i will i will try to get get things going for memberships properly for youtube and twitch which is great thank you so much for your support and i will see you in the next poe video stream or somewhere else on the internet have a good one